Hello and welcome back to Beginner Adult Hockey. We are getting into fall. My puffy vest is out and that means that hockey is coming back. I don't know about you, but my season starts tonight. It's very, very exciting. Let me know when your season starts or if you were able to get in the league this year or how you're improving your hockey skills. I've Life has been kind of crazy lately, so I've kind of been slacking on the videos, but I really wanted to get back into it. So I'm gonna do that with a quick definitional video, which I think is really confusing to some people. It is actually a pretty clear rule, but there are a couple small things that I'll, I'll talk about them that can be very confusing and were confusing to me for a long time. So the definition we're gonna be talking about is what is a shot on goal? I always called it a shot on net, um, but apparently most people call it a shot on goal. So we're gonna call it a shot on goal here. So basically a shot on goal, um, I'm gonna read the definition for you. This is the NHL's definition. A shot and goal is if a player shoots the puck with the intention of scoring, and if that shot would have gone in the net had the goaltender not stopped it, the shot is recorded as a shot and goal. Obviously, that includes anything that does go in the net as well. So if you score, you get a shot and goal for that. Some leagues, they keep track of this. You'll see it on the scoreboard. If you're an adult recreational league, they're probably not going to keep track of this. Some youth leagues, they do. NHL and higher leagues, they definitely do. So it can be an important thing for some people. So what is a shot on goal? There are two definitions of a shot on goal. One, if you shoot at the goal and it goes in, that's the easiest one, right? You're gonna get recorded as a shot on goal. The other one is if you shoot at the goal and the goalie stops it, but if the goalie had not stopped it otherwise, it would have gone in. So those are the two definitions of what is a shot on goal. The reason this can be really confusing is because there's a couple situations. I thought one of these was always a shot and goal, but basically um, one of them, there's two that I, I really see a lot. There may be more. Let me know if you can think of any others, but basically the two I can think of. One is if you shoot and it hits the one of the posts or the crossbar and bounces off and doesn't go in. It doesn't matter if the goalie's there or not, or if the goalie touched it or not. If it does that and then doesn't go in, what that means is it wouldn't have gone in. So um, it's not a shot and goal. However, if it hits the crossbar and it does go in, obviously that is going to be a shot and goal because it went in and scored a goal. Second one is if it, um, what is the second one? Oh, right. So second one is if, uh, say the goaltender is like out here and you shoot and he stops it, right? Um, outside of the net. If it would have gone in otherwise, if he hadn't stopped it, that is a shot and goal. But if it was like all the way out here, even if he gloves it or stops it or does anything, that is not a shot and goal because if he wasn't standing there, it wouldn't have gone in the net. So that's the thing you have to remember. If the goalie wasn't there, it would have gone in otherwise. That is, that is the definition of a shot on goal. So if you do keep track of stats and um, in your league and you're seeing some that are not counted, even though you think it should be a shot and goal, those are probably the reasons why. Let me know if you have any questions about that. That was just a quick definitional. I just wanted to give you a little bit of insight into that because a lot of people, there's some questions on that. And let me know again, if you are starting your season tonight or this week or next week or next month or whatever it is. And um, any other questions or video, video ideas you might have. And don't forget to subscribe and like below as well.